This is nothing you haven't seen already. The same game, just at higher stakes. Now that we're in the finals matches, we're in a best two out of three situation. All robots in each of our six corners are successfully leaving their areas, getting those movement points, and both teams nearly have one balance. Red Alliance just shy on that regard. Plenty of time throughout the match to make up that point difference as we move forward. 76-57, that's the Thunderbots, I believe, now repping the blue bumpers on the blue alliance, making use of their human player station and gave additional game pieces into the field of play. 74-57 showing off their swerve drive, that's the unique movement mechanism they can use to turn around a point, quickly snatching up a cone, hoping to deliver it over into their grid to score points for their alliance. 461, a great showstopper so far this season, quickly delivering a cone to the top part of their charge state, or their grid, I should say. Lots of points still available. Remember, we don't care too much about links. They don't give us any more ranking points, but still each of those successfully completed is five points for their alliance, which can be the difference in some of these games, especially as it should be pretty close here in the finals match. Red Alliance 1 is currently leading with a score of 81, but plenty small difference currently with 75 seconds remaining in the match. 50-10, that's Tiger Dynasty making use of those bright lights in front to illuminate their game piece and give status indicators back to their drive team, looking at something that you might want to implement in this upcoming season. 74-57 going rowdy, collecting cones from their player station, bumping their own teammates out of the way. The name of the game was Lynx, and it still is, trying to minimize those cycle times and deliver cones and cubes to your grid. Just like before, two points for the bottom row, three for the middle, and five for the top. Red Alliance near, already maxing out that top row, which is well reflected in their score. Less than 30 seconds remaining, we'll start seeing teams migrate towards the charge stations. They need to find them in a level configuration with as many robots as possible to maximize the amount of points they'll find. 5010 getting in aligned for the Red Alliance team, trying to fit a third robot on potentially with 10 seconds remaining. Seems doable. Blue Alliance now attempting to match them, but Kalakucharacha 4272 still miles away but just enough time to almost park. And that was the end of finals one here at Boiler Bot Battle. And here are your scores for finals match one here at Boiler Bot Battle. Your winners are the Red Alliance with a new high score of 177. We're not quite done yet. A team needs to win twice to take it home. So we'll have another match here in just a couple minutes away. Stay tuned for finals match two.